how to use Bybit app. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use the Bybit app for your crypto enthusiast. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up the Play Store and we're going to install Bybit. So just simply search for Bybit over here and this app will pop up into the search bar and this is how it looks like just simply click on install and install the application it's going to take a couple of seconds and once it's installed we can move on to the rest of the video there you go as you can see it's now installed let's go ahead and open it up there you go by bit as you can see made for crypto lovers it's really nice the app is really cool so let's go ahead and get started so as you can see this is how the app looks like so at the top you have your bitcoin you know market bottom you have some of the news and then you have some of the hot uh cryptocurrencies that are taking off right now you have your spot trading over here you have your usdt perpetuals you have inverse perpetuals you have your gainers over here you have your new cryptocurrencies over here these are basically derivatives and these are spots so it's so all really nice really cool so now let's go ahead and jump into it and then at the bottom we have a bunch of different options so we have markets we have derivatives we have trades and we have assets now to access assets all you have to do is just simply log in or sign up now I'm, i don't have an account over here so i'm gonna go ahead and sign up and the sign up process is also very easy you just have to enter in your email address and your password and you're good to go so i'm gonna go ahead and sign up and i'll catch you guys in a little bit well as you can see it's currently restricted in my area so they can offer me services so what i'll basically do is i'll just go back and just show you the app how it works let me just do this for a second i don't know why it's asking me to verify even though i don't have an account but whatever but i can still show you how it basically works so let me just tell you how you can basically buy a cryptocurrency so for example let's take this cryptocurrency for example the xpr usd all right so over here you're gonna go over to the market we're gonna go ahead and buy over here so over here you have your derivatives you have btc usd you have btc usdt you have ethereum usdt and you have a lot of the other ones and then you have spot basically spot is the main one all right you don't have to worry about that you know at the top you have your favorites so over here you will have all of your cryptocurrencies that you favorited and saved over here then you have your derivatives over here then you have your spot all right spot is the main trading platform all right just think of it this is the place where you actually do trading all right spot trading is the best one all right now over here you will have all of the cryptocurrencies that you can trade with usdt and you have all of the crypto tradings and you have all of your cryptocurrencies that you can use with bitcoin btc and you have your udc usdc you have ust you have dai you have all these different ones right if you want to search for a specific cryptocurrencies what you can do is you can go ahead into the search bar and you can search for it so let me just search for a cryptocurrency that i like is if it's available over here no it's not let's go ahead and search for btc so over here you have btc usd which is the original one and then you have your btc usdt which you can buy with the usdt you know cryptocurrency it's like the uh cryptocurrency for the us dollar it's, it's pretty nice and uh you have a bunch of more as well so if you wanted to buy let's say this one all you have to do is simply click on it all right you have your spot trading over here you're just gonna have to see if it's gonna go upward now and you just have to click on long all right just simply click on login and add in all of your prices over here and add in your quantity as well and then order value and then just simply click on this button right here which would say you know buy and there you go same goes with trading as well over here if you wanted to buy you know or sell one all you have to do is just choose a the option once you come over here into a cryptocurrency let's say yeah let's just say btc just enter in the amount that you wanted to buy and the quantity and then just simply click on the buy button that you will see over here instead of the login button it's all really simple it's really nice and then i would show you a bunch of other options as well but currently i can't because i'm not logged into it but it works really really well is you can also you know go ahead and buy it with your credit card as well so for example if you wanted to buy a cryptocurrency all right let's say xpr all you had to do was just enter in the amount right and make sure you change it to market not limit if you put limit then all of everything it will become a limited source meaning that 
uh, you will have put a limit over it and instead you can't you know go up the limit or down the limit it will keep on that so make sure you choose market market is always pretty cool and then over here just enter in the order value let's say three six nine or whatever and then you just and then you put this at a hundred percent so that you can use and you know over here basically over here you will have your usdt value if you choose 100 percent then all of your amazing you know usd will be used to buy this cryptocurrency or available funds whatever if you use it 40 or 50 percent then 50 percent so a slider is really cool in this option in this you know in these types of application then you have available over here you have your deposit you have transfer and you have buy coins so if you wanted to buy coins just simply click on buy coins and you'll and you'll be easily able to buy some coins and yeah guys that's how you basically do it and another thing that you can do and let me tell you another thing is that you could go into the settings option and over here into the settings you can switch your routing option as well so you have a bunch of different ones you just choose auto i would leave it at auto because it's a little good it gets a little bit technical so it's best to just leave it at that now if you are just looking at the market itself if you're not familiar with what's going on over here well these red ones they're basically the ones that are like the market is going down for them and these green ones for them the market is going up and that's i mean that's pretty standard and what you will need to do is you will always need to buy when the market goes down because that way you will uh, acquire the cryptocurrency for a lot cheaper than when it's going up so make sure you keep that and it also has like a bunch of different other ones as well like nfts you have your metaverse you have gamefi you have pow pos stable coins smart contracts launch pad launch pools leveraged tokens like we have a bunch of different ones like a, and over here in nfts you can see you will have a bunch of different options so for example in nfts sand mana are pretty much used all the time these are like the main cryptocurrencies for uh, you know uh, the Met nfts for example like in metaworks uh, in you know sandbox sand is the main currency for sandbox and mana is used in i think decentraland so as you can see you can also buy these ones over here for your specific option so for example if you wanted to you know invest in nfts then you will have your nft cryptocurrencies over here for metaverse you will have your metaverse cryptocurrencies game files will have game five ones and pow's and pos and we have stable coins you have your smart contracts launch pool launch pad leverage token like we have a bunch of different options over here and you even have DeFi as well or defi whatever would you would like to call it so as you can see the app is pretty cool it's pretty nice uh you won't have to worry about it it's really simple it's not that you know it's not a very popular ad because as you can see it's not available in every single country in the world but let's just hope that it is available for you in your country so that you can easily go ahead and you know log in and sign up and start to you know go ahead and trade your favorite cryptocurrencies so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them and help you figure out your figure out a solution to your problem as soon as possible so also if you guys enjoyed this video then be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and also if you wanted to share this video with your friends or family members that would be really appreciated or if you know someone who is like getting into crypto and wants to learn a little bit more about it then maybe share this video with him as well so that he can know about this application as well and uh, yeah guys that's basically pretty much it and and i uh, thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye